here today is a um, small Viking settlement. You can see we've, we've put up a trader's tent and we're, we've arrived today as traders because we're, uh, we're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, very quiet Vikings today. And sometimes when we when we belong, if we come to a, a village or if we come to a part of the shore, which is great, uh, heavily populated, we would hedge our best and come as traders. But if we land sometimes and there aren't that many people about, then we become raiders. We always like to come off best in whichever situation we can find ourselves in. My wife's here today, she's going to demonstrate some, some living history. She's going to show people how, how the Vikings wore their clothes, what, what they made their clothes from, how they dyed their clothes, the food that they ate, what type of food that they ate, um, the type of uh, drink, what, what they would have drank, like beer instead of water. We take great pride in the way we look, the way we keep ourselves. Here. I'll actually get my husband to, to pass around you as well, but I'll give you a break for it. It's actually a ladies' vanity set. This one here looks far away from anybody. As I said, we do this as, a, as an educational thing. It's, it's basically geared at uh, the primary cur curriculum. Uh, it's for to teach kids more with a, through a hands-on approach to actually see, smell, and touch. All, all, all those, all those artifacts that would have been around in that period. It's good. Sometimes when I'm out on my ship and uh, I get food stuck in my beard, two to three weeks later I can break it off and eat it again. It tastes real spicy. Like something about two to three weeks it's stuck in your beard. It gets slightly salted from out in the sea, so it's quite good. Mm. That's what this site here is 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 very significant. The fact that it's the only recorded burial of a, a burial site of a Viking king outside Scandinavia, Magnus Olafsson or Magnus Berlex as he's more commonly known. He was the last Viking king to rule the, Nor the Norse king to rule the Irish Sea. And as people, I know people talk about the end of the Viking period after 1066, but in Ireland it was the last for another 100 years. So Magnus fell in right about the middle of that 100 year period. He, he was born in 1073 and he died in 1103. And the Viking influence or Norse influence in Ireland was still the last for at least another 70 years or 60 to 70 years after that. Because when the Normans came, obviously that was the end of the, the, the Viking period. You know, um, so after the Norman influence, the things changed. Some say for the better, some say for the worse. So for every Viking went into battle, had an axe, not all had swords. Swords were very expensive. Blacksmiths in Viking times and Dark Ages were revered. Don't forget that the, the Norse god Thor himself was a blacksmith. They believed that whenever you heard thunder, it was Thor's hammer striking the earth and caused the, the, the rumble. So, from the Vikings, the Vikings would have used bows for hunting um, and other purposes. In battles, very rarely did, did you hear of. I mean, they sit around the camp at night or a feasting hall at night and, and boast and how, about how you killed someone from maybe 100 yards away with an arrow. They would laugh at you. In Viking times, it was very important to live well, also very important to die well. Yeah, it's, it's going very well, the public seem very impressed with what we do. Um, they, uh, they all seem to leave, better informed them when they arrived, so that's, if that's the case then it's been a success. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>